Yeah, I'll be right out. Leaving now. Five minutes, you guys. Hurry it up. Fucking bandit dipshit. Oh god, Fuck you shut Bobby. up. God, I love when a job goes right. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Isn't that right, Archie? It's better than a job going wrong. Oh, uh, Archie, <laughs> always being a sour yeah, boy. Lighten up, big guy. We just made a couple G's off of that yeah. place. A couple G's ain't worth going through all this shit. Yeah? Well, maybe this house will pay a wee bit more. <laughs> you see how nice this house is? Yeah. The place is probably built like Fort Knox. <laughs> How do you expect to break through the security system, Lex? Come on, man. I got an idea. Hey, what's up? I know, dude, I, I haven't seen you like this entire summer. No, no, my parents are, uh, they're actually away for the whole week again. Oh yeah, you know me, party at Rachel's, right? Not my thing. Yeah. No, um, see, I actually have a date with that guy. I know. Okay, look, I was gonna wait to tell you until. Chica? Uh, hey! Sorry, I didn't know we had a new security system. No. What are you doing here? They were leaving me early. Yeah, like a couple years too early. I thought I'd surprise everyone. Are mom and dad out? Yeah, they're in Montreal on conference for the next week. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great timing. So how's my old room looking like? Well, considering I never knew if you were alive or dead in a war somewhere, it gets a little confusing if I should leave your room empty or not. 
Well, I'm here now. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. It also mattered yesterday, and the day before that, and every single day for the last two years. Whatever, I'm over it. Okay, well, I should probably put my stuff away. Why don't I make us dinner tonight? I could make our favorite, shepherd's pie. Yeah, I don't really like shepherd's pie anymore. I'm going out tonight, so um, don't wait up for me. Good time tonight. Me too. Ah, uh, I am so tired. I don't know if I can even drive home tonight. May I have to stay here. Oh, um, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just talking about sleep. I don't know what you're inferring. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Is everything okay? Yeah, um, I just, I don't do that on the first date. Oh. oh. But. Sorry. Nothing, no, 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 it's okay. Nothing against you. You're great. So, do you want to see me again? Yeah. Tomorrow? Your place? 
Well, you don't waste any time, do you? Sure. Good night. Good night. <laughs> How'd your little date go? Perfectly. She won't know what's coming. Perfect. Tell me about her. Pretty, sweet, and the best part. Parents are out of town. She gave you a tour of her room? No, she wouldn't let me in. That's rude. Well, not everyone lost their virginity in the back of an F-150 when they were 13. Well, why don't you be a little bit more charming, pretty boy? By the way, maybe don't take her to a diner. We don't want anyone recognizing you. Your girlfriend won't think you're so cute if she finds out about your past. Why don't you quit while you're ahead? Break into her house, take some pics, break the security system. Bye. I got waffles. I'm not hungry. Well, you gotta have your breakfast. I said I'm not hungry. Can you just sit down? Please, Rachel. I just wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? I just want to say that I regret leaving. So now you realize the pain that you put me through. Yes, uh, I do, and I'm so sorry. You scarred me, Jake. You and I were so close before you left. And then once you did, everything changed. I just felt that I had nowhere else to go. I was constantly fighting my own battles, and I just thought joining the military was the best option for me. Your life was great before you left. <laughs> That's what you thought? <laughs> There's a reason why that I'm here and still not over there. I've seen terrible things. I've done terrible things. Well then in that sense I feel sorry for you. Rachel, I'm so sorry. Look, Jake, you are my brother, and I will always love you, but right now, I'm just going to need some time to forgive you. Okay. Um, I'm having James over tonight, and I would appreciate it if you were elsewhere. You want another one? <laughs> no, I should be good. Mm. What are you doing? What's this? It's like a photo album? Why? Well, of what? Uh, I don't know, like family and memories. And... Don't your parents have one? Here, open it. I have to warn you though. You are pretty dumb. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that is a tragedy. That is adorable. 
That is a hot mess. <laughs> Where was this taken? South Africa, actually. I went on a service trip in high school. That's where I got this. Really? Yeah, the locals let us dig in one of the sites. Look at you, Miss Blue Collar. <laughs> Not really. I think they kind of planted us there for us to find. Mm. Usually just for kind of the normal stuff, but I found something I value. He said it was pretty rare, so they let me keep it. And when I got home, I had it made into a necklace. And here I thought you were a gentle flower. But you got a little toughness to you. I like that. You do? Mm-hmm. Who's this? No one. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Sorry I parted out. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm sorry, you're gonna think I'm the worst. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Yeah, it's just uh, down the hall to the right. Thanks. Show and tell time. Come on, man. All right. These are the pictures of each room in the house. That's the parents' bedroom. Upstairs, far left. That's where most of the jewelry should be. I disabled the security system. But you should re-enable the system after you're finished just so Rachel doesn't suspect anything. In and out in 50 minutes. Leaves you plenty of time to get what you need. No one gets caught, no one gets hurt. But if your girlfriend shows up a little bit early, might need to cut her. I said no one gets hurt. You kill the person you're trying to rob, your sentence gets a lot longer. What if you're trying to bang the chick you're robbing? Just out of curiosity, when you two have sex, which one is on top and which is on bottom? Hmm? Or is Lex on top and you're both on bottom? Aww. Someone's a little frustrated. Hey, Archie. Are you a little frustrated? Huh? I think he is. <laughs> yeah. You're both getting a real fucking taste of frustrated. Watch it, Archie. All right. No need to murder anyone else now? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm out. No, you're not. No, Lex, I'm fucking done. Boys? 
I guess because you're the face of this job, you think you have a say in it. You remember who you are, Archie. Archie Walters, the infamous Archie Walters. You're a murderer, a felon at the very least, just like me. Nobody wants you as a neighbor, an employee, a lover. You really think Rachel would even look at you if she knew the monster that you really are? You're lucky she hasn't already found out. Your community has turned its back on you. But I accept you with open arms as my own. I give you a place to sleep, financial stability, and a crew to depend on, and you say you're done? No, you're not done. Because you have nowhere else to go. I have you by the fucking balls. You're not done until the last breath of air leaves your pathetic lungs. Can I get a scotch? Good man. You look like you had a pretty terrible day. Thanks for being brutally honest. I'm Jake, by the way. I don't think I asked. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably had a little too much to drink. Archie. You, uh, celebrating something? <laughs> Just the opposite. Girl problems? I mean, yeah, but she's my sister. Well, last I checked, still counts as a girl. What's the deal? Is she a bitch? No. She just, she just doesn't agree with my work. Where do you work? U.S. military. Mm. Yeah, I feel like she just doesn't understand the commitment I was about to make. You know, maybe I didn't emphasize it enough or, I, I don't know. I feel like I tricked her or something. Yeah, I feel that. So what's your problem? Work. Hmm. What do you do? Interior design. Oh, interior design? I, I got a few buddies. I should be good. I'm leaving the industry soon. Huh, why is that? Girl problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well. I gotta run. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. You look beautiful. Thanks. You going out tonight? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna hit the hay early for a change. Good.
Have a good time. Ready? Are you okay? Yeah. What could possibly be wrong? Man! This place is fucking huge! <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. You two see if there's anything valuable down here. Absolutely no one. My parents are gone, remember? Yeah. How about a little music then, right? I'm going to move upstairs! Right. You haven't really been saying anything since you got into the car, and you're acting really weird, so... I've just been... Thinking a lot lately. Thinking about what? Uh, you got a uh, some pretty rare records here, man. I'm not who you think I am. What? James, come on. My name isn't James. 
It's Archie. What are you talking about? Well, I... Give me a minute. What's up? Archie? There's someone in the house. Lex? Hello, Lex? Who the hell is Lex? Listen, Rachel. I really care about you. And I have to tell you the truth. I'm part of a group of burglars that are trying to steal from your house at this very moment. I don't believe you. We'll believe it. Are you serious? Yes. I trusted you. Look, Rachel, I understand that you're extremely confused and you have every right to be. But you need to tell me who is in that house with them. They could be in serious danger. <laughs> You know, I've been asking myself that for the last seven years. And I got nothing. So why don't you just shoot me? Why are you doing this? I can't do anything else. You never have to resort to crime. I used to be a bad kid a while back. Drugs, crime, you name it. One night I was stealing from a local convenience store. It was one of my first crimes. <laughs> so nervous. I had the cops on my back. I was trying to flee and I... I hit a 16-year-old girl. I could never forgive myself. I spent a lot of years in jail thinking about what I'd done. I don't want this. But who would hire me? I'm a murderer. This job was going to get me enough money to finally leave town, start my life over. And I had to betray the only person who has accepted me in years. You said you had girl problems. Is that about Rachel? I love her. Shut up. But I know what I've done is unjustifiable. I'm gonna go to jail for a really long time. If I don't die there, I'll die on the streets because no one gives a criminal a second chance. So please, put the gun to my head and pull the trigger. Look. My past isn't clean either. I carry the weight of my mistakes just as heavy as you do. Go. I'm giving you a second chance. So make the best of it. Rachel, I'm sorry. 